Now, a building in Plymouth with a rich broadcasting history today started the next chapter in its event for life. It's actually next door to these studios and was home to BBC Southwest for many years. The building was bought by the BBC after the Second World War and became Spotlight's home and also BBC Radio Devon's for many years. Some big names have broadcast from the building, Sheila Tracy, Hugh Scully, Jill Dando, to name but a few. Well, after a three-year wait, we finally got some new neighbours and Spotlight's Janine Jansen went to say hello. Well, it's an exciting day for budding journalists at Marjon. They're moving into their new media facility behind me and guess where it is? Right next door to the BBC. Well, it's amazing to see our old BBC building being revamped and put back into use. I'm joined now by Mike Baker, your head of journalism at Marjon. How do you think the students will mostly benefit working alongside the BBC? But at Marjon, currently we've taught journalism now for a number of years, uh, but not what you might call in purpose-built studios. This is a real game-changer for us. You know, as soon as you walk in, as soon as they walk in, they know they're in a professional space, uh, and I think that's really important if they're going to learn those professional skills. Wow, this room used to be our old library, but look at it now. It is a state-of-the-art gallery where the students of Marjon will be putting out their very own news programmes. Well, I first came to the BBC about 19 years ago here in Plymouth, and I remember this part of the building being Radio Devon. So let's check out how it looks now. And Dana, it's back to being a radio studio. Hello, tell me who you are and why you've come to do your media course. Um, so I'm Rochelle Discane. Um, I'm a third year journalism student. Um, I started here not really knowing what area of journalism I wanted to go into. I just knew I wanted to tell a story, um, or lots of stories. Um, so in my second year, I've decided that radio is really the course I want to go down, and that's my real passion now. So being in here is really exciting. Well, very best of luck to you. Um, let's meet some other budding journalists here. Can you tell me who you are and why you're doing your course? Uh, I'm Michael Palmer, and ever since I was a kid, I would uh, make my own radio shows and make my own magazines, and I was just fascinated with communication between other people. So it's a natural next step for me to come here and do this. We shall wait and uh, hopefully hear you on the radio. And uh, last but not least, um, tell us who you are and why um, you want to do I'm this. I'm Hannah Pay and I'm um, a journalist student at Marjons. I want to do it because I've always loved places like Vice. So I want to make short form content for online, so videos and stuff like that. The new way forward. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Well, remember these faces. These could be the faces of the future. And she's not been back since, Janine. I think she prefers it next door, doesn't she? They've got some fancy kit there, it haven't they? <laughs> it looks very nice. Got, might, it? I might be borrowing their headphones, <laughs> I think, in the future. 